right, so you just got home from Northwestern University, huh? Yep, that's right. You're a freshman? Yes, I just finished my freshman year. All right, well, good luck to you, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, join us tomorrow when I welcome Danny DeVito and Diane Cannon. Now, I know you know David Cassidy, huh? I know you are a fan of the Partridge family, right? Big Keith Partridge fan, I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, my next guest is one of the, was one of the biggest stars in the 70s, and now he's doing it again in the 90s. His new CD is called Old Trick New Dog. Please welcome David Cassidy. Don't you know I've been sleeping and right in the middle of a good dream. Face. Do you think you love me? Come on. I think I love you. I think I love you. I think I love you. See me now. I think I love you. I think I love you, girl. I think I love you. Say, I think I love you. Say, I think I love you. I think I love you. I think I love you, girl. I think I love you. I think I love you. I think. Good job, good job. Thanks, yes, man. yes. Give it up for David Cassidy. Yeah. The CD is called Old Trick New Dog. We'll talk to David when we come back. Stay with us. Check out our website at www.themagichour.com. We're back with David Cassidy.
Sheila. Yes. 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 That is so cool. She's so hot, huh? Oh, stop it. Hey. Well, you, you know what's you know You're what's funny? Best. You know what's funny? Yeah. She's back in the spotlight, and so are you. Well, hey. You thank know, you. place it where you both deserve to be. Thank you. Thank you, you know? for that, man. Um, it's great to be back. I have to say, the um, the question that gets asked to me all the time is, um, in the last you know seven, eight, nine years, I've been working nonstop on Broadway and right. the West End, and working in the theater. And um, this beautiful lady to my right asked me if I would come back and do television again. Mm -hmm. And uh, and working, uh, I'm doing this show in Las Vegas now. I do two shows a night and uh, ten to twelve shows a week. And I've been there for t two years. It's called Vex. And it's become a big hit, and I love doing it, and I was certainly involved in recrafting the whole show. But, you know, I, I love the idea that um, people have a relationship with me and feel yeah. much like yourself and much like with Sheila, that if you've had an impact on their lives in a positive one mm -hmm. and they feel like they know you, they, I think they do root for you. Mm -hmm. And in, in um, Sheila's case yeah. and in your case yeah. and hopefully in mine, <laughs> People have been so incredibly supportive, and I have to just say thank you for the opportunity to be here. And uh, to those... Well, thanks. But to the people that w have um, criticized you in the last week for mm -hmm. your show, and this is show number five that we're doing here, yeah, I just want to remind people that uh, if anybody saw Letterman's first show, that he did... Uh, 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 uh. Has anybody seen that? It, they re replayed it? Or do we remember what Conan's first show was like? or first week, it's very, very easy to be critical of someone because they don't, they don't send you to school to talk show to school. And I think you're doing a great job, well, and I love you, you and thank they you. love you. Well, well, that's it, man. Yeah, the show, the show is for the people. That's all, for them, for everybody yep. at home. That's the story. Thank you, thank you. Okay, everybody, we gotta get to some questions. <laughs> We answered when, the question. When, just when I grew up, yeah. everybody wanted to be either Michael Jackson mm -hmm. of the Jackson Five right. or David Cassidy mm -hmm. of the Partridge family. Right. You, I, I mean, you two were the biggest. Mm -hmm. And was that hard to handle? I know because he said it was hard for him to handle. Well, yeah, he was a lot younger than I was, uh -huh. too. Um, for me, because I was uh, an actor who began in the theater, and my dad was a very, very well respected actor. Mm -hmm. That's really what I wanted to do. And, you know, Jimmy said it quite eloquently, and I have spoken it, about it a lot recently. It's really all about the work. And if the work is good, yeah. the reaction that people have had to me, I feel very blessed, as I know you do. But, but if, you don't, if you aren't making yourself happy, if you're not satisfying yourself, it doesn't matter how much money they pay you yeah. or what the venue is. It's really about the work. And fortunately, as a creative person, I've been able to do enough good work mm -hmm. that the fans and people that have supported me have shown up and bought my records and bought mm -hmm. tickets. Mm -hmm. And um, I think for me it's really become, it's such an interesting journey. The, the beginning of it with all the madness and with all of the hysteria and all of that. Yeah. Losing my own identi identity, unlike Michael who was really being Michael, I was David Cassidy, the actor cast in a role that everyone in the world assumed I was that guy. Yeah. And I was very different from him. I was mm -hmm. very wild and I was pretty reckless. And, mm -hmm. you know, well, when, I, I, when I was growing up in the 60s as a teenager, we listened to one radio station. Right. On that one radio station, I would hear Marvin Gaye, mm -hmm. um, Four Tops, Temps, The Beatles, The Beach Boys, Petula right. Clark, Tom Jones, um, uh, Tony Bennett. So a, 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 a raiment of... Uh, if you Different if you want to listen to that well. now, that music, and they were all hits, they were all great records. Mm -hmm. I just think in order to find those artists now, we're not exposed to it, you have to look to six or seven different formats because it's all become so fragmented. Mm -hmm. Consequently, we don't get exposed to it. And, you know, a lot of my new CD is about um, that journey that I've taken mm -hmm. with recutting I Think I Love You and all of that. But a lot of the influences that I've had um, particularly from an R&B standpoint. I mean, Marvin Gaye was my favorite singer, and I, I love the stuff that I got exposed to as a, as a youth and as a teenager. And I think it's, it's great that now people are starting to embrace that concept again, and that it wasn't just a bunch of bunk 
people were saying, come on, people now, smile on your brother. Right. Reach out, you know. <laughs> it, it sure in the hell beats um, violence and murder and shooting yourself, um, right. you know, for what that's worth. Well, thank you so. We, we all still love you. Well, I love we, you guys, we, too. We love you. you in the 70s. We love you in the 90s. Thank you. You know? God bless you. Thanks, David. We'll be right back. Old dog, new trick. <laughs> yes, sir. Special thanks to all my guests. Roshamba. Thank you. They can catch you on VH1, right? Yeah, I'm on VH1 yes, now. Yes, yes. And they can catch me in the model search, too. That's we're, right. Like, we're yeah. slipping yeah. the models with the names. Craig, thank you. Also to our new band members, <laughs> Mr. Jimmy Smith <laughs> and David Cassidy. And of course, the ever glamorous Sheila E. Join us tomorrow with Danny DeVito. And Laker fan Diane Cannon. Hey, we out of here. See ya. Yeah.